I've lived my entire life with a fear of drowning in my own bedroom or being swept away by a typhoon. Growing up, I remember waking in the middle of the night because our house was flooding. My family would gather around our battery-powered radio by candlelight, listening to find out if we needed to evacuate. I was born into this climate crisis, and it's all I have ever known. No one should live with this fear, and I am determined to fight for a future where we don't have to. My mom tells me she remembers a time when the typhoons in the Philippines weren't as frequent or as intense as they are now. But a lot has changed since my mother was my age. Typhoons in Asia have become 50% more destructive in the last 40 years. Increased carbon emissions are causing sea temperatures to rise, creating more super typhoons with stronger winds, heavier rains, and devastating floods. These typhoons have killed thousands of people and destroyed the homes of many more. We're also experiencing more droughts and rising sea levels, which is threatening our food security and our physical safety. The Philippines is a beautiful country, but it's also one of the most vulnerable places in the world to climate change. Do we want climate justice? Do we want that now? Together with a few friends, I started Youth Advocates for Climate Action Philippines to raise awareness of the climate crisis and push for more accountability from our government. What started as a handful of protesters has grown into a true grassroots movement. We aim to help communities that have been devastated by typhoons by providing food, clothing, and hope to Filipinos in need. We've also made it our mission to work with and learn from local indigenous communities, small farmers, fisherfolk, and other environmental defenders so that we can help protect their homelands and livelihoods from business interests that threaten their very existence. And our advocacy extends far beyond our own borders. Did you know that the Global North is responsible for 92% of excess global carbon emissions? And yet it is us in the Global South that are suffering the most. We need to center the voices of people already being impacted by the climate crisis. We need action and we need it now. At home, my activism has been met with a lot of resistance. I've been arrested for protesting and harassed by government supporters, but I still consider myself one of the lucky ones. Many others have been killed for speaking out. In my country, the Filipino government can label activists as terrorists. But I refuse to back down. I will continue to stand up and speak up because I love this planet and I know it is worth fighting for. Many others around the world are fighting for a safer present and a better future. Politicians and world leaders have let us down, but we can raise each other up. This is our time. This is our fight. This is our future. Hi, I'm Mitzi Jo Neltan, and I hope my story inspired you. If you want to learn more about other people who are striving to make the world a better place, click here and check out more from the Hashtag Solving It series.